rain and then roof damage and things like that. And we're trying to get FEMA to do it. But it, like I said, they're taking a long, long time. More than a month since Ida, people all over still frustrated about what they are calling the lack of assistance with FEMA and their insurance companies. WDSC News reporter Shay O'Connor joins us live from Laplace with the roadblocks that people are facing. Shay? Sell of this right now. Many folks who live here in Laplace tell me that they're just at their wits end when it comes to contacting insurance adjusters or even FEMA for assistance. It's been 43 days since Hurricane Ida hit, and many say that they're just hoping that this all comes to an end soon. I don't know nothing, and it's time for another bill. We already I just paid the bill again. I've paid another payment on insurance and have not one cent. And I'm not saying it as a joke, just one penny. Leroy Crawford lives in Bell Point subdivision in Laplace and says he hasn't received one payment from his insurance company since the storm. A tree fell inside of his home during Ida. Crawford says mold is now growing inside of his rooms, but he still stays at the home when he can, despite the obvious dangers. Meanwhile, adjusters are giving him the runaround. The adjuster said they couldn't go in your house because of mold and COVID. Then how do you make an assessment? There's a hole in the roof, but they're telling you, okay, wait and we'll see. He says he's been told by his insurance company to pay for his damages and they'll reimburse. When you called about reimbursement, you get the same thing, call back, UNQ, somebody. I still don't know nothing. Crawford is just one of many finding it hard to get in contact with adjusters to help fix the damages left behind during Ida. For those without insurance, their fate is even more limited. Curly Ducree says he's been trying to get in contact with FEMA. And they say, oh, we need your social security number. We send in social security number and things like that to, to verify that I do live here. I haven't received nothing, no emergency funds or anything at all. All. Curly says he also has to pay out of pocket in the meantime to have this tree taken off his home. And as time passes, people say they're growing more and more impatient as to just what comes next for them. A lot of people have been having a tough time and you know, all, and they, they're doing the best that they can. And there's been a lot of uh, mental, pro mental things, you know, you're trying to make it through the life and go to work and do right there and your home is damaged. Now on your screen right now, you should see information about upcoming town hall meetings on insurance being held here in the River Parishes this Wednesday and Thursday. Insurance resource centers are actually being set up to assist folks with their, their needs. So you should see the times and places there on your screen. Now, when it comes to FEMA assistance, I did reach out to FEMA officials who tell us to, you know, that they're just asking for the public to exercise patience right now as they try to get through all of the calls. For now, just reporting from St. John the Baptist Parish, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. Yeah, just a tough situation all around, Shay, thanks. And you know, Insurance Commissioner Jim Donnellan, we spoke with him also. He says they have been getting many calls about problems with insurance companies. Last year for three storms, Laura, Zeta and Delta, they had 1,800 formal complaints. This year for Ida alone, they already had 1,000 complaints and Donnellan expects that number to double or triple. So he advises you to report it right away if you're having issues with your insurance company. It is a complaint process similar to what the Better Business Bureau provides for all other companies in the, uh, outside of the insurance world. And we have a online form, a page and a half, claim number, insurance company, date of loss, brief description of what your loss was, hit send and send it to us. All right, so here's how you can do that. Just go ahead and log on to ldi.la.gov to file that complaint, or you can call this number on your screen. It's 1-800-259-5300. Again, 259-5300.